Senator Martin Udall, the Democrat of the fight state of Colorado. Senator, a lot of frustration being expressed by folks from both parties here tonight um, that, that we're not going to make much progress on these big issues this year. Do you agree? I, Neil, good to be on with you, by the way. Um, I listened to your previous guest with real interest. I, I agree with much of what he had to say. I, I have to say, though, that I think the business sector uh, doesn't trust the entire world's economic uh, uh, situation right now. But I would agree, it's not just this administration, but I, I would agree that we've got to deal with our debt while we have a short-term investment plan as well. I would have liked to have heard the president embrace the Simpson-Bowles Commission proposal. You and I have talked about that in the past. But to your point, um, look, politicians and federal uh, elected officials in the Congress will come to their senses, I believe, in the next month or two, realize we're going to be, up, be on the ballot. We need to produce some results. I think you'll see some incremental uh, policies put in place. Let's give the president the authority to stream the way the federal government operates. Let's uh, authorize the Federal Aviation Administration for 10 years. Let's extend the payroll tax. Let's get an energy policy that uh, enhances what we can do to produce natural gas, but also make sure we make the investments in reno renewable energy. I think those are all doable, but the president, I think, took equal responsibility tonight for his uh, lack uh, of results, but he also called on the Congress to work with him. So in that well, sense, I don't I know. Thought, Maybe you're right, Senator. Yeah. You're very, you know, yeah. being generous here. I, I didn't yeah. hear the president take much blame for anything, but I, you, you might be right. Maybe I missed that in, along the, the lines of the speech. But I, is it your sense then that when it comes to the big issues like reining in entitlements or trying to address the spending, that's just not going to happen this year? I think it's a big lift. Uh, there are a group of us in the Senate, almost 40 senators, equally divided. I think we've got to keep at this. We continue to meet. We continue to come up with proposals. I think you've got to go big, though. You and I have talked about this. You have to have this interlocking program where you cut spending, you strengthen entitlements uh, by lowering the growth curve, uh, and you've got to reform the, the corporate tax code. You've got to lower rates and broaden the base. A lot may happen in the lame duck session. I hate to say that, but I think that's where a lot of the action may be. But in the meantime, the American people should keep the pressure on us while we keep the pressure on ourselves to look to get some things done. Uh, the world mm -hmm. isn't waiting on us. We got a global economic race to win. Uh, so, look, look for the Senate to surprise people. Uh, whether the House follows right. suit, we'll see. All right. Well, hope springs eternal. Uh, Senator yeah, Mark well, Udall, I'm a, like thank you, I'm you. an optimist. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank All right. you, sir, very, very much. All right.